Hello folks, Jeff Preston here from FS Flying School and today we're testing something new. We'd like to see what uh, flight simulation fans think of some simple videos about how to get the most out of FS Flying School and perhaps even improve your scores too. We're not working on cinematography or editing here. The idea is to create simple informative short subjects and get them out to you with a minimum of fuss. Today we're looking at an ILS approach to landing in a Cessna 172 in X-Plane 11 with FS Flying School. Now just as in real flight a good approach and landing requires good preparation. In FS Flying School it is important that you are in landing mode and pointing down the runway when you descend through 500 feet above ground level. This runway is at 692 feet MSL so 500 feet above that is about 1200 feet MSL. We're doing an IL <coughs> excuse me we're doing an ILS approach so the NAV1 radio is tuned to the runway ILS and the NAV1 OBS is set to the runway heading. Although we can see the airport today, we can also follow the NAV1 glide slope and localizer needles for ILS practice. Okay, this is a new concept for me, but uh, hey, let's go. I'll be rating your performance based on the current ILS signal unless you lose the signal. Okay, so the instructor has made it clear to the pilot that the evaluation of the landing is based on the ILS signal which is being received as opposed to this being a visual approach. Let's get down to the glide slope. And the instructor is telling the pilot that we need to get down to the glide slope. And if we look, for example, at the uh, glide slope needle, we can see that we need to get down to the glide slope. And the way this was flown, by the way, was deliberately to draw attention to some of the things that need to be done. This is not an attempt to do a perfect landing so you will see the pilot do some uh, less than ideal things in order to um, elicit comments from the instructor. You're too high, not so much throttle. So we're still above the glide slope and we're nowhere near in danger of having insufficient throttle so we can reduce throttle in order to get closer down to the glide slope. Get lined up with the runway. The instructor is now of course pointing out that we're not lined up with the runway and we can also see this by looking at the localizer needle uh, for NAV1 and uh, it's over to the left so we clearly need to move to the left or we need to steer to the left to uh, get ourselves lined up for the runway. Let's use pitch to control our airspeed and power to control our rate of descent. So there's some uh, typical uh, st standard, I should say, uh, advice that the instructor is going to give us as we get closer to landing. Let's get down to the glide slope. Not and I, th I think he's going to mention the throttle again there. Not so much throttle. Yep. So he's a decent sort of fellow, um, but um, he is going to become quite insistent on the fact that we don't seem to be getting down to that glide slope, and it's something we need to certainly think about. We're landing at runway zero six. Elevation is six eight seven feet. Okay, so there we just heard. That's interesting, actually, because what we just heard there was a slight difference, five feet of difference between 
uh, the runway elevation that uh, he seems to be getting in his data uh, from the simulator and um, between that and that which is printed on the approach chart that I looked at in preparation for this video and gosh darn I I knew I should have been looking at the simulator data but uh, anyway we'll uh, press on at least he knows which runway we're landing at so that's splendid 400 feet the instructors just called out our above ground level um, which of course is useful because uh, it, it gives us more of a um, situational awareness in, in the real aircraft obviously we could effortlessly just turn our head to the left and look out the window and you could see how, how far it is to the ground as it were and uh, although we can look around in the simulator um, one doesn't necessarily have that much of an intuitive feel of uh, how far down it is so what the instructor is doing to help along in FS Flying School is calling off the above ground level as we get uh, closer to the runway. Remember you'll flare at about 10 to 15 feet raising the nose about 10 degrees. You're too high. And okay we're still too high. A little bit, not too much, but we're, uh, we're still too high. Three hundred feet. At ten to fifteen feet, reduce power to idle and flare. And there's more standard um, advice from the instructor, which we will get as we get closer to the runway. Well done, pilot. Uh, the pilot has now got uh, full flaps set, which is what we typically want in our Cessna 172, and that's definitely going to affect our scoring. The other thing that has been affecting our scoring in FS Flying School all the while um, is, or rather, excuse me, during the approach is um, because we're doing an ILS approach, the instructor and the system is looking very meticulously closely at the needles and the degree to which they are deviating from uh, being uh, centered as it were um, and so all this is being recorded and will affect the evaluation at the end of the flight. feet. The other things that are going on of course is that uh, the instructor wants a stabilized approach, he wants the aircraft to be handled smoothly so the pilot isn't jerking it around in different directions, no sudden changes in uh, the degree of bank, it's not lifting the nose up and down causing g-forces, not uh, flying dangerously close to stall speed for example and also not exceeding the flap speeds so that's very importantly monitored in FS Flying School and we can see conveniently in this aircraft that the uh, flap speeds are right there uh, written on the uh, flap control which you can see um, down there in the uh, bottom right of the screen. 't can see now that we have the needles for nav one are very nicely lined up so we're right on the money as far as the uh, ILS glide slope and localizer are concerned um, our airspeed is good we've got full flaps um, our rate of descent is reasonable um, all looking good 100 feet. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty feet flare. And there comes the flare instruction, so it's time to get that uh, nose ready to come up and gently let the plane settle down onto the runway. Ten. Touchdown, Kilo, Golf, Romeo, Bravo. Okay, let's slow down to a safe taxi speed. The instructor doesn't want the pilot to be racing along the runway after 
a successful landing so it's important to slow down to a safe taxi speed let's get it down between uh, sorry below 20 knots um, and let's uh, and let's also um, steer straight down the runway until we get to a nice slow speed and then we can turn uh, carefully off the runway and the other thing that's going to be looked for is that um, unless we've got uh, an aircraft that would be of the type where the flaps would typically be down we're definitely going to want to get them up um, and so the instructor will be looking for that okay here we go um, you lost okay, the glide slope before you flared. Okay. I reached your landing at 74.90 points. Approach was 80% for the glide slope and 90% for the localizer. And one note there, um, it's it's important to remember that the scoring is it's it's a score. It's not a percentage. So the instructor will tell you you, you may have scored uh, 61 or 82 or even. 112 points and that is not a percentage so it is a score and the scores overall will be higher if they are more challenging because you are flying in a bigger aircraft or if you're flying under more demanding conditions such as um, having a strong crosswind or having low visibility all those factors will increase the score so if you want to get uh, particularly high scores then um, have awful weather conditions and uh, a large aircraft and um, landed in low visibility without using the autopilot if you can do all those you're going to start getting scores um, uh, that are going to be in excess of 200 and so forth and um, let's see let's press on a little bit pilots getting the flaps up and I think we'll leave it at that so yes a little rough around the edges uh, in the uh, video production department um, it's all meant to be good fun not terribly um, formal uh, and the idea is to put this out there see what folks think about it and if it's of some use it was quick to produce um, if it's a, if it is of some use then please let us know in the comments here or you can also of course write to us directly at uh, support at fsflyingschool.com and uh, thanks very much for taking the time to uh, watch this uh, little experimental video and please let us know what you think and uh, happy landings <laughs>